and greetings everyone uh, in this video i will be going over exam type question uh, on uh, linear algebra um, so the focus of the video will be looking at the uh, excellence criteria so some of the skills that you will need uh, for excellence uh, for this achievement standard is designing and recommending a new pricing structure uh, using linear models uh, that would allow a company to be the cheapest and still to be profitable and uh, also for this you will need to include uh, graph or graphs and specific examples of the rates uh, that you are recommending uh, for piecewise uh, linear models and also you need to communicate uh, thinking using appropriate mathematical models so so far in the previous videos i've uh, already gone through uh, achieve and uh, merit um, criteria uh, for this achievement standard please do check those uh, videos out uh, so the uh, example that we are looking uh, at is uh, uh, during the holiday season uh, mr and mrs kuma are heading to the bay of islands and plan to take a scenic flight they've got three coats from uh, different scenic flight companies at the Kerikiri airport the uh, coats are given below are for two adults uh, so PLS uh, flights uh, charge a booking fee of $20 uh, plus 65 cents uh, per minute flying. Uh, Kiwi Air has a flat uh, fee of $65 for uh, flights up to two and a half hours. And uh, the price quoted by Ritz Air is uh, right below. And uh, they also have uh, been given uh, three options to choose from. So the first option is a quick 30 minute scenic flight. Uh, the second option is one hour scenic flight and the third option is a full two hour scenic flight. So in the um, previous video for achieved, uh, we have uh, looked at this one. Uh, please do check that video out. Uh, depends on how much time uh, they can take out for this activity. Recommend which company Mr. and Mrs. Kumar should uh, choose and why. And you will need to uh, communicate your findings uh, clearly by showing full working. Right. So this is what we ended up with. Uh, um, in that video there so please do uh, have a look and three different skills required for achieve and it could be any of these three skills to pass you don't have to have everything for merit uh, we looked at uh, the uh, impact uh, uh, where they can have on the uh, flying uh, time this is what we ended up with so i'm just uh, quickly gonna put the answer up here for you guys to have a look but i would strongly advise you to uh, uh, please watch the other two videos so for excellence uh, the task uh, says uh, bay scenic flights owner plans to open up a new company in the bay of islands and wants to be the cheapest uh, scenic flight uh, people can use uh, design and recommend a new pricing structure that would allow bay scenic flights owner to be the cheapest and still to be profitable uh, clearly communicate and include graph or graphs and specific examples of the rates uh, that they could use. So what we need to do is uh, we need to design and recommend the uh, new pricing uh, plan. And uh, this could be a piecewise uh, model, a linear model. Um, so we already know this uh, from uh, Merit, uh, the three options that we're given. Uh, the cheapest is uh, for option one, the cheapest um, one was uh, fearless uh, flights so we need to create a model that will be uh, cheaper than uh, fearless flights for option one likewise we need to come up with a second model that will be cheaper than the uh, rich ear uh, for option two and uh, for option three we need to come up with a third model uh, that will be cheaper for uh, the third option is uh, we will be using a piecewise function uh, so in the previous video we have uh, looked at the um, uh, range of values that's uh, cheaper for each of the three options that's uh, given there so we already know this uh, that um, between 0 and 50 minutes uh, fearless flights uh, is uh, cheapest when we create a new uh, model uh, um, that uh, needs to be cheapest we need to come up with a model that is um, below the red line it has to be less steep compared to the uh, red line that's already there now i could have used a straight line from um, a y-intercept of 20 and gone all the way up to uh, uh, here but what uh, that will do is uh, that will make the um, biocenic flight uh, the cheapest but they will be losing out uh, quite a lot of money so the question says it uh, they need to uh, still be uh, profitable so we cannot use that option so we try and uh, uh, use a piecewise model so uh, we already know that uh, uh, between zero and uh, 50 minutes fearless uh, flights is uh, cheapest so what we will do is uh, we'll try and uh, use uh, fearless flights and uh, 
the equation is uh, 0 0.65 t plus 20 and uh, the y-intercept value is 20 so if we start at 20 i could have started a little bit lower than 20 but 20 is a reasonable uh, booking fee so we'll start at 20 and uh, to make uh, them uh, cheaper what we need to do then is uh, we know that uh, these two lines intersect at uh, uh, time of 50 and uh, the uh, y value the cost value was $52.50 so if you want to uh, be cheaper I will just go a little bit uh, less so I think uh, cost of $50 uh, will be appropriate so uh, we'll try and uh, put um, uh, these uh, together so we're using a booking fee of uh, twenty dollars and uh, the uh, point fifty fifty in this case uh, instead of fifty two fifty so that will make it a little bit cheaper so we'll we'll now find the equation for uh, the uh, first uh, option uh, so uh, slope intercept form uh, uh, for linear function is uh, y equals to mx plus c so we need two pieces of information uh, gradient value as well as the y intercept so we're using booking fee of uh, 20 dollars so we will put that uh, over there we know the um, time value of 50 which is the x value here and uh, the cost is uh, 50 so y value of 50 so we substitute uh, those information there so 50 is equal to m times uh, 50 plus 20 which is the uh, booking fee and then we uh, quickly simplify that and uh, uh, we get uh, 50 times m is 50 m and then we uh, are trying to solve this so we'll move uh, 20 on the other side of the uh, uh, equal sign so 50 take away 20 is 30 and you would have guessed it we divide by 50 to um, get the value of m so in this case the gradient value will be uh, 0 0.6 now what that means is uh, um, we know that if we make the line less steep it will uh, cost less so the steeper the line the expensive it is so if it's if you make it less steep so in this section uh, uh, the uh, gradient was 0 0.65 so our goal is to get a gradient uh, less than 0 0.65 to make it uh, less steep which will mean uh, that it's cheaper and in this case we ended up with 0 0.6 so I think that's a pretty good deal so we'll put that uh, information together now we've got the equation for uh, basinic um, that uh, models the uh, charges for uh, option one so uh, as shown on the graph so you can see that um, the um, uh, equation that models the basinic flight is uh, given by 0 0.6 t plus 20 so 20 means that they've got the same uh, uh, booking fee as uh, fearless flights but then uh, the goal for us was to make it cheaper so in other words uh, we can uh, make it cheaper by having a slope uh, which is less steep so in this case uh, um, the slope is 0 0.6 uh, compared to 0 0.65 which it um, originally was for uh, fearless flight so this line here as you can see is a little bit cheaper than uh, the previous one and in doing so the uh, basinic flight is the cheapest for option one and is not losing a lot of money as well so we'll uh, do the same thing for the next one so uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to find the um, equation uh, for option two and option two is between uh, uh, 50 and 100 uh, minutes of time flying so what i'm uh, planning to do here is i will go i'll try and draw a parallel line to reach here now parallel lines will have the same gradient so it's very easy to use uh, the gradient of reach air and in this case reach air has got gradient of 0 0.25 so what that means is uh, i'm going to have the gradient and then i'm going to use this point here that we have uh, that's where the um, basinic flight uh, uh, for option one ends at uh, 50 50 so we'll use that point and a gradient of 0 0.25 so that we can go parallel to uh, reach here and it will be a little bit uh, below that line which will make it cheaper so um, using uh, slope intercept form we know uh, we're going to use the same um, gradient value for um, um, reach here and the uh, point um, uh, 50 50 a point is given and the gradient value you can find the c value or uh, c value is given and uh, one of the uh, point is given you can use that to find the slope value so we used uh, like in the previous one we had the uh, um, 
uh, point given and also we were given the c value we used it to find the m value in this case uh, it's a reverse we're using the m value and a given point uh, which is 50 50 to find the c value so it's basic substitution so uh, 50 is equal to 0 0.25 times 50 plus c and then uh, we quickly uh, simplified it 0.25 times uh, 50 is uh, 12 and a half uh, plus c is equal to 50 and that gives you c value of uh, 37.5 and then we'll uh, put that uh, together so the cost uh, for option two for um, base unique flights is uh, given by 0.25 t plus uh, 37.5 so this is the equation that will uh, be for uh, option two and uh, then uh, what we need to do is we need to find the maximum cost for option two so we can see that the ritz air originally intersects with uh, kiwi air and uh, at uh, time value of 100 so we will substitute time of 100 in this equation that we have just derived so this cost is um, 0 0.25 times 100 plus uh, 37.5 and that gives you a cost of $62.50 and we now know for sure that uh, that line uh, so so it's a little bit cheaper than Kiwi Air. Kiwi Air originally cost uh, $65 and this one will be $62.50 so $2.50 cheaper. I've got the um, graph uh, drawn for uh, uh, the second option and as you can see here this line here for base scenic is parallel to the green line and it's uh, always cheaper than rich here and it's cheapest uh, overall and the equation uh, for uh, the second uh, option is 0 0.25 t plus 37.5 uh, and then uh, we'll look at the uh, third option and for the third option we found that the cost is 62 dollars and 50 so what we suggest is Bay Scenic should charge um, a flat fee of $62.50 uh, for uh, uh, third option. That will make it ch the cheapest. So we've got the uh, third option there. So uh, uh, when we plot it, you can see that that's parallel to uh, QE here, and it's always uh, cheapest. Uh, so in the assessment, what you are required to do is uh, you need to come up with a linear model to um, uh, mimic the scenario that's presented in context and you want to make it cheapest in this case so uh, to make it cheapest the lines that you are constructing needs to be um, lower than the one that's already there and uh, then uh, so what you have to do then is uh, derive the equation of each of the uh, models that you have chosen and also draw those uh, models on the uh, graph to uh, show uh, what it looks like and then uh, you have to uh, write a sentence describing what uh, uh, it means finally uh, putting uh, all of these information together so the task said uh, you need to design uh, and recommend uh, a uh, new pricing structure that would allow uh, basic uh, flights owner to be the cheapest and uh, still to be profitable and uh, for this uh, you were asked to include a graph or graphs and specific examples of the rates that they could use so uh, here are the um, uh, graphs for each of the model so the recommendations uh, uh, for the uh, first option which is the quick scenic flight uh, it is recommended that uh, base scenic flight uh, should uh, charge a booking fee of uh, 20 dollars plus 60 cents uh, per minute uh, flying so the equation is 0 0.60 plus 20 uh, likewise uh, for the second option uh, between uh, 50 and 100 so uh, over here it has got a parallel line to the uh, uh, rich here so in this case base scenic flight should charge a booking fee of uh, 37 dollars and 50 cents plus uh, 25 cents per minute flying and uh, the equation is 0 0.25 t plus 37.5 and finally for the uh, third option full scenic flight um, uh, for over 100 minutes um, base scenic uh, flight should charge a flat fee of uh, 62 dollars and 50 cents and the equation is uh, c is equal to uh, 62.5 and the graph is uh, drawn over here so for the, this assessment uh, for excellence uh, basically you will be asked to come up with the new uh, pricing plan or new uh, uh, models uh, that can uh, 
make the uh, company uh, the cheapest it depends on the context though sometimes we will be looking at uh, uh, maximizing sales and what have you so we'll be looking at uh, exact opposite of what we have just done so we'll be looking at something on top so please be mindful of the uh, context you are working uh, uh, with i hope uh, this makes uh, more sense uh, what i would suggest is uh, if you could uh, pause the video uh, and uh, go over this uh, yourself remember this is one version of the uh, answer uh, using the uh, points that i have um, chosen so if you pick um, some other points your equation will change accordingly and you need to calculate it uh, correctly because in the assessment you need to get the uh, models correct uh, for example, if I'm using 50-50 here, then uh, 100 should be at 62.50. Um, uh, uh, so you need to calculate and show that, that it is there. Um, if you um, uh, r roughly um, estimate the points, then you may not get the exact uh, model. So please watch uh, the other videos that I have uh, uh, posted uh, uh, earlier. Uh, that shows you how to find the equation given two points it's um, always important to uh, try and have a look at um, other examples as well so your answer may vary depends on the um, uh, points you have chosen uh, so this is one uh, Mm, answer uh, remember uh, some of you may be thinking oh, i can just uh, uh, start uh, at the y-intercept value of here and then just draw a straight line uh, uh, like that now what uh, happens there is uh, you will not qualify for excellence in that case because the question also says uh, that they still need to be uh, profitable so just uh, quickly recapping uh, what we have uh, covered so in this video uh, the skills that's uh, demonstrated uh, it was uh, focused on excellence as designing and recommending a new pricing structure using linear models uh, that would allow a company to be the cheapest and uh, still to be profitable and i've also um, shown those informations on uh, graphs and uh, also mentioned the specific rates uh, that were used um, using the linear models and the uh, uh, findings were clearly communicated using mathematical uh, statements thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video